Ever found yourself pondering on how to convert a millimeter into an amateur and a voltmeter? We're here to unravel that mystery today. Whether you're a budding engineer or a curious mind, understanding electrical measurements is a fundamental skill. Let's kick things off by introducing the three key players in this game of electrical measurements. The millimeter, the amateur, and the voltmeter. These devices are the superheroes of electrical engineering, each with its unique power. The milliameter, with its ability to measure tiny currents in milliamps, is like the detail-oriented detective. The amateur, on the other hand, measures larger currents and is the strongman of the group. And lastly, the voltmeter, our voltage detective, measures the electrical potential difference between two points in a circuit. These devices provide us with crucial information about electrical currents and voltages, enabling us to understand and manipulate electrical circuits. So stay tuned as we delve into the process of converting a milliameter into an amateur and a voltmeter. So what exactly is a milliameter? Well, a millimeter is a handy little device used for measuring small electric currents. In fact, it's perfect for currents too small to be accurately measured by a standard amateur. It operates on the same basic principle as an amateur, but it's designed to read currents in the milliampere scale. Now, you might be wondering, what's a milliampere? It's simply a unit of electrical current. One ampere is a thousand milliamperes. So when we are dealing with currents in the range of thousandths of an ampere, we use milliamperes and a millimeter to measure them. Milliameters are used in various fields from electronic engineering to physics labs. They're especially useful in situations where precision is key and even the smallest current can make a big difference. Now that we understand millimeters, let's delve into ammeters and voltmeters. After all, understanding these devices is key to converting a millimeter into these tools. Let's unravel the mystery behind amateurs and voltmeters. An amateur and a voltmeter, though different in function, are both paramount tools in the world of electrical measurements. The amateur, from the term ampere meter, is used to measure the current flow in an electrical circuit. It's named after the unit of electric current, the ampere, which is often shortened to amp. An amateur is always connected in series with the circuit component to ensure it measures the exact current flowing through that particular component. On the other side of the spectrum, we have the voltmeter. The voltmeter measures the potential difference, or voltage, between two points in an electrical circuit. Its name comes from the unit of electrical potential difference, the volt. Unlike the amateur, the voltmeter is connected in parallel to the component of the circuit whose voltage we wish to measure. This way, it can measure the full voltage drop across that component. Now, what's the principle behind these devices? Well, both amateurs and voltmeters operate on the principle of electromagnetic deflection. When current passes through the coil in these devices, it produces a magnetic field. This magnetic field interacts with the permanent magnet inside the device, causing the coil to rotate. The degree of rotation is proportional to the amount of current or voltage, which is then indicated on the scale of the device. Amateurs and voltmeters, though simple in their operation, are fundamental in understanding and diagnosing electrical circuits. They allow us to measure and monitor the two most vital parameters in any electrical system, current and voltage. By understanding how these devices work, we can ensure we're using them correctly and getting the most accurate readings possible. With this understanding of amateurs and voltmeters, we're ready to explore the conversion process. Now, how do we convert a millimeter into an amateur? Good question, and let's dive straight into it. Our task here is essentially a straightforward unit conversion. The key is to remember that one ampere, often shortened to amp, equals 1,000 milliamperes, or milliamps. So if we have a reading on our milliameter, we simply need to divide that number by 1,000 to get the equivalent reading in amperes. For example, if we have a reading of 2,000 milliamperes, we divide this by 1,000 and we get 2 amperes. Easy, right? It's all about shifting the decimal place three places to the left. If you're dealing with smaller numbers, say 500 milliamperes, divide by 1,000 and you have half an ampere or 0 0.5 amperes. Now, it's important to remember that this conversion is for units of electrical current only. A millimeter and an amateur measure the same thing, just on different scales. They're like inches and feet or grams and kilograms. The physical properties of the current don't change, we're just expressing the measurement in a different unit, so we're all set. 
You've taken your milliameter reading, divided by 1,000, and you've got your ammeter reading. Just like that, you've scaled up from milliamps to amps. We've successfully converted a millimeter into an ammeter. And that's all there is to it. Now you're ready to tackle any conversion between these two units of electrical current. Next, we'll tackle the conversion of a milliameter into a voltmeter. Now, this conversion process is a bit different from the previous one, but it's nothing you can't handle. The trick to this transformation lies within the realm of Ohm's law. For those who need a quick refresher, Ohm's law is a fundamental principle in the world of electronics that states the voltage across a conductor is directly proportional to the current flowing through it. It's typically expressed as V equals Y times R, where V is voltage, I is current, and R is resistance. To convert a milliameter into a voltmeter, we need to introduce a series resistor into the mix. You see, when a resistor is connected in series with a milliameter, it can measure voltage instead of current. The value of this resistor is calculated using Ohm's law. Here's a simple way to picture it. Imagine you've got a milliameter that can measure up to 50 milliamps. You want to convert it into a voltmeter that can measure up to 5 volts. You'd need a series resistor of 100 ohms. How so? Well, if you plug the values into Ohm's law, V equals I times R, you get 5 volts equals 50 milliamps times 100 ohms. Now remember, this is just an example. The actual values will depend on the specifications of your milliameter and what voltage range you want your new voltmeter to cover. And there you have it, a milliameter successfully converted into a voltmeter. Milliameters, ammeters and voltmeters are essential tools in electrical measurement. Here are their applications. Milliameter. A millimeter measures small currents in the milliampere range, MA. Its applications include low current circuits, measuring current in electronic devices such as smartphones, laptops and other portable devices, medical devices, monitoring current in medical equipment like ECG machines and insulin pumps, industrial control systems, measuring current in control circuits and sensors, ammeter, an ammeter measures current in the ampere range, A. Its applications include power systems, measuring current in power distribution systems, generators and motors, Electrical testing, testing electrical circuits, wiring and devices for current flow and potential issues. Industrial and commercial applications, monitoring current in industrial machinery, lighting systems and commercial electrical systems. Voltmeter, a voltmeter measures voltage in electrical circuits. Its applications include electrical testing, measuring voltage in electrical circuits, wiring and devices to ensure proper operation and identify potential issues. Power systems, monitoring voltage levels in power distribution systems, generators and transformers. Electronics troubleshooting, diagnosing voltage-related issues in electronic devices and circuits. Safety testing, verifying voltage levels in electrical systems to ensure safety and compliance with regulations. Common applications, these measurement tools are used in various industries including electrical engineering in designing testing and maintaining electrical systems and devices. Electronics manufacturing in testing and quality control of electronic devices and components. Industrial maintenance in troubleshooting and maintaining electrical systems and equipment. Research and development in conducting experiments and testing new electrical and electronic technologies.